It's time I try something new. I took you in. No one wanted you. I hired you. I pushed for you. Will, this is a business decision. You were poison. This firm got you back on your feet. And I will always be thankful. And this is how you show it? By stealing our clients? He's mad. Josh Charles joins us at the table. Hello. This episode we must discuss. It's called Hitting the Fan, and boy does it. <laughs> let, me, let me just read you a couple of, of, of tweets from people who have seen it, critics. Uh -oh. The good wife is so damn fantastic that it nearly took my breath away. Everything changes everything. The good wife is going to blow your ever-loving mind. <laughs> Truly fantastic piece of TV. Miss at your own peril. Wow, that's and, great. Which I think is really amazing in your fifth season when a lot of people start to coast. But it, we pick up with her, Alicia, Juliana Margulies' character, mm -hmm. is leaving the law firm. And boy, you are not happy. Yeah, it's a great thing the writers did the ending last season, finding that information out that Alicia uh, and Carrie are leaving. And so the first and taking four, clients. And taking clients with them. So the first four episodes of the season, that's building. They're, they're doing that while they're still at our firm. And this episode is when the partners find out. Mm. So... It's, uh, it's, it's, it's always great to have an audience know things that other characters don't, don't know, yes. and, and they've got to see that over these four, and now that it sort of culminates in this episode. Let me just say, there's one scene that if looks could kill, <laughs> Alicia would be dead. <laughs> With the way you look at her, and you know what I'm talking about, she would be dead in the ground. <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing. Amazing TV. How has that been? Cause, because your co-host, Juliana Margulis, said this season's actually been really tough to play because of the fraying of the relationship. It has. I, it's, I, I think you're always, whenever you're doing a, a show, a series we're five years in you're just looking to, to deepen it get deeper into your characters deeper into the stories and and I, I just marvel at the writers being able to do that this year I think you know we're five years in as Gail said sometimes shows you can see them kind of coasting a little bit and I think this year the storylines have reinvigorated them it's reinvigorated the cast and that's all you want as an actor you just want to dive deeper and that's what all these storylines do it's mm -hmm. just going to take the show to a different place and there's a focusing on our core people and, and, and the war or civil war between them has, has been a really intense experience for all of us but also funny at times too yes, so there's is. humor yeah. in the episode yep, there's as well. humor yeah and passion mm -hmm. Charlie doesn't believe me. No, I do. No, he I do. He believes you. <laughs> I, I was actually thinking about the writing. At the very moment you looked at me, I was thinking about the writing in the show and how good the writing is. So good. Yeah, I'm glad you really said that. It really is. Yeah. yeah. No, mm -hmm. somebody said this, Charlie, you'll like this, that if you're a fan of Breaking Bad, which we all are at this table, mm -hmm. they said, and you're looking for something to watch, if you want great storytelling, powerful characters, and great writing, you should check out The Good Wife, which I think really is the ultimate compliment to the I, show. I agree. Great writing and writing that they do 22 and great, times and great a year. acting, too. Yeah. Yeah. Performances. <laughs> but Baltimore. Born and raised. Yeah. <laughs> Gail's, Gail spent some time in Maryland, too. But in, and you're a huge sports fan, right? I am. Not, yeah. a, not a good year to support the Ravens. Or, not, not, not yet. Or the Orioles. Give us time. Well, the Orioles, yeah, they're, at least the Orioles are sort yeah. of, they've turned the corner so, last season. But do you have that bias that if you were part of a, an American League team, you don't want anybody else in the American League to win the World Series? <laughs> uh, I would say that that is true with the American League East. Yeah. Oh, I no see. That's in the American League okay. East, yeah. But the American League East, yeah. yeah. I, I tend, so, I'll tend to root for someone outside of my division. <laughs> Josh, okay. it was fun to look at that Can clip we tell of you. what Henry calls <laughs> the <laughs> well, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. No. It, was, it was fun to see that clip of you from Dead Poet Society because the director at the time says Josh was the one to beat in the auditions. No one came close to him in terms of charm and acting ability. What does that experience mean to you now when you look at that? Because oh, you had a little smile across your face. I do. Well, the interesting thing about that movie was I was actually cast in it the year before. I think Peter, who had that quote, Peter Weir directed it. Yeah. The movie was supposed to be made the year before, and then it, it fell through, and then it got made again with Peter. So. It's it's weird to see it because, I, first of all, I feel old, um, but I also, um, it was a remarkable experience. Made a lot of good friends from it, and, you know. A classic. Yeah. yeah. And, and Josh is a newlywed. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Yeah. Congratulations. Great Mary to have you here. It's great to be here. It's not, not often I follow an astrophysicist. <laughs> <laughs> you got any movie reviews? <laughs> Thank you, Josh. And you can see Josh and the Good Wife Sunday nights at 9, 8 central, right here on CBS. Sunday night is must-see.